In this video we're going to briefly go through how to use the Casio Classviz calculator to find Poisson probabilities. To start with we're going to look at finding the probability that x is equal to a given value. For this probability calculation we need to use the Poisson PD option on the calculator. To do that you need to go to menu, scroll down to number 7 which is distributions and scroll down to find the option Poisson PD which is number 2. This then gives you the option for list or variable. When calculating one probability variable is probably quicker when calculating a series of probabilities at the same time you'll probably want to use least. So now we're going to use option 2 which is variable. Now let's think of an example. Let's say that my x is distributed with the Poisson distribution with a constant average rate of 3.9 and we are asked to find the probability that x equals 5. In this question, our x value is 5, and we press 5 equals, and our lambda value is our constant average rate, which is 3.9 equals. Once you have those two values filled in, if you press equals again, you get your probability. And from here, I can see that this is 0 0.15. Two, two, leaving that to four decimal places and rounding up. Let's move on then to our next example, which is the probability x is less than or equal to the value x. For this one, we need to use our Poisson CD value because this is a cumulative distribution. So again we go to menu, we scroll down to number 7 and this time we scroll down to Poisson CD which is number 3. Again we are given the option of list or variable and again if you just want one probability, variable will be quicker. If you want a series of probabilities with the same parameter, you will want to use list. For this example we will use variable which is number 2. The information you can see on my screen here is just the information from the last calculation I did. So don't worry about those numbers. Let's think of an example. Let's say our x is distributed with a Poisson distribution with a lambda of 2.4. And we want the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. The value that you put in for x in the Poisson CD option is the less than or equal to value. So for this question it will be 3 equals and my lambda has decreased to 2.4 equals. Once you have inputted both of those values you press equals again and it gives you the continuous probability. So 0 0.7787 to 4 decimal places. Moving on, let's have a look at uh, when x is less than x. So this time I do not have that less than or equal to inequality. So just remember um, our rules of discrete random variables and that is that this is the same as x is less than or equal to x minus 1. So again, we will be using the Poisson CD option. So again, I will do menu, distribution of 7, and scroll down to Poisson CD, which is number 3. And again, I'll be using the variable option. So our example for this one is if x is distributed with the Poisson distribution with a lambda of 
14.3. What is the probability that x is less than 13? This is the same as the probability x is less than or equal to 12. And I now have my value that I can use for x on the calculator. So my x value is 12 and under. And my lambda has changed to 14.3. Once I've inputted both of those values into the calculator, I press equals again. And I have my probability 0 0.3296 rounded off to four decimal places. Moving on to slightly harder probabilities, greater than probabilities this time. Our Casio class quiz cannot calculate a greater than or greater than or equal to probability. So again, I need to just use my laws of probability to say that this is the same as 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to that x value. So I will still be needing the Poisson CD options. So I will still be needing menu, option 7, and scrolling down to Poisson CD. Using variable as it's just one value. And for this example, I'm going to say x is distributed with the Poisson distribution with a lambda of 12.9. The probability x is greater than 13. With the laws of probability, we know that this is 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 13. So on my calculator, I can put x as a value of 13. That's my less than or equal to value. And my lambda has changed to 12.9. Once I've inputted my values, I press equals again, and that gives me my probability that I need to subtract from 1. So 1 minus 0 0.5840, and subtracting that from 1, I get 0 0.4160. My final example on this is if it is a greater than or equal to question. Again, the Casio classes cannot work this out for you, so you need to use the rules of probability, which state that this is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to x minus 1. So again, we will be using the Poisson CD options. Go to menu, option 7, distributions and scroll down to Poisson CD. For one question we will be using variable number two. My example for this one is x is distributed with the Poisson distribution with a lambda of 9.62 and in the question we are asked for the probability x is greater than or equal to 11. That means we need to use the law of probability to do 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 10. So in our calculator, we put an x value of 10 because that is my less than or equal to and my lambda of 9.62. Once I've got both of those values on the calculator, I press equals and that gives me my probability to subtract. So 1 minus 0. 6305 rounding up and subtracting that from 1 gives me 0 